Hello, you guys. All right. So this uh, reading is going to be for Capricorns for August 2020. All right. Oh, boy. Mm. I am hungry. All right, so I'm going to clear it with some Florida water on my hands. So what message do you have for Capricorn for August 2020? Capricorns for August 2020. Capricorns for August 2020. Capricorns for August 2020. Capricorn for August 2020. Tell me to shuffle five more times. Your situation right now, Capricorns, is the King of Pentacles. Um, this is you showing up in your reading. You are um, being very arrogant, very powerful about your money. You're confident about your money. You're getting your money, which is not surprising for Capricorn. They are the hustlers of the Zodiac sign. So that is not surprising to see the King of Pentacles for the Capricorn. Crossing your situation is the emperor. So this is you with your money and you are structuring everything. You're structuring your home life, you're structuring your house, you're getting your life insurance together, you're getting your 401k, you're getting your, um, your, your trust together, your will together. This is you using your money, utilizing your money for a financial gain. Everything is, all your money is being spreaded out into the right places. You're planning everything. Your unconscious influences things that are behind the scenes, which is the Five of Swords. The five of Swords talks about basically you're, you have five swords, you have three in your hand, and you have two that's on the ground. So this is unconscious. So this is you thinking that you don't have enough money, um, this is you having like, for instance, $5,000 and $2,000 you you lost, but you still got $3,000, which is sort of, I understand, in the Capricorn's head because they are driven by money. So if you lose anything, you're like freaking out. You're like, oh, no, I can't lose this. I can't lose my coins. Um, but this is unconscious. So. Spirit is telling you don't worry about those other two 
that you've lost. You still have three. You still have three. You still have money. In your past, um, you have the Queen of Cups. So in the past, you were very like soft, gentle, um, motherly. You were there for people. Um, in the past, you were the person that they called. They came and called and asked for advice. That was you in the past. Right now, in the present, you are the king of pentacles. You are the emperor in the present. You were the queen of cups. Now, in your conscious influences, we have the strength card. And this is you. You found your inner strength. Um, but your strength is showing up as being confrontational with other people. They're looking at you being very arrogant, which is the king of pentacles. You're being very arrogant and your strength is like showing up as just being confrontational to people, which is not on purpose. That's just how it looks to you. I mean, not to you, to other people. Now, in your near future, you have the devil card. OK, so in your near future, you have jealousy um, that's in your in your in your life right now. Um unable to you're you're tied to maybe you're tied to someone and you have just somebody maybe an ex or somebody that's just behind the scenes and they just will not leave you alone and go anywhere um and it's holding you back something that's binding you holding you back um so this is that's in your near future hmm I'm going to clarify that and see what, what is that exactly? All right. So let me clear out that card. Time is clean up time. Go look on the board, please. Clarify the devil. Is she recording? Yeah. Clarify the devil card. Oops. Clarify the devil card. Okay, so you have to to clean up. Oh, well, it's already two thirty six, so y'all need to start cleaning up. Get off the computer, Manuel. Get off of the computer. All right. So clarify the double card. But clarify the double card was a complex decision. The need to do research. Start procrastinating. The high priestess. So whatever's in, you know, you know what this is. You're doing actually research and you have intuition about what the devil card is about. About this jealousy and trouble, unable to break the change. So you're trying to you're trying to like do some investigation work clarify the devil card a unwise choice learn what you can from this situation so there is people behind the scenes talking about you and um, running their mouth about you and now you are trying to do investigate and trying to get ahead of the situation so you do have jealousy, and that's in your near future. So uh, with all this money and everything that you're getting, and also the strength card, because you're you're being very confident, it's causing confrontations with other people. So they're causing situations. They're being jealous towards you. 
and you're doing some investigation to try to get ahead of the situation. You don't want this to mess up your money or your work environment. So you're emotional and for as far as your emotions, you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is money, contentment, signing a money agreement, which you're going to. So you are going to get ahead of the situation. And hello. Yes. You're loud. <laughs> so you're going to get ahead of your situation because you have the Ten of Pentacles right here. Now, your outside influences is the Page of Wands. So you're going to be traveling. So you're going to have somebody from your family or friends that you're going to be traveling with. And in your hopes and dreams, you have the Nine of Cups. The Cups is about improvement, um, feeling pleased. So in your hopes and dreams, you're, you're planning to improve your situation. And you're going to be quite pleased. And then your last card is the outcome, which is the Justice card. So this can be about legal situations, um, finding out the truth about a situation. So your outcome, you are going to find with this devil card, you're going to find out the truth in your situation. So you're you're always going to be ahead of the game. So your money is good. Um, let's see what your love life has to say. So yeah, your money is good. Um, you're these people that are jealous of you. You're you're going to get ahead of them. And you're going to fix that situation. Um, you might have to do some type of grievance at work and get ahead of your situation because it says it just part of your outcome. Whatever it is, but you're going to find out the truth about what you need to find out. And you're going to get ahead of the situation. So let's see what's in your love, love life for cancers for August 2020. A wedding. This situation involves a marriage. So you have a marriage coming up. That's what the card says. So take what applies, leave the rest. This concludes your reading, Capricorn, for August 4, 2020. Um, if you want a personal reading by me, you can contact me on my website, which is goddessglow.com, which is spelled G H O D D E S S G L O W. Dot com, or you can email me at goddessglow at gmail.com. Everything is going to be in the description. So um, if you don't know how to spell it or you forget or whatever, it's going to be in the description. All right. So take what applies. Leave the rest. Have a great day.